Let's work in spreadsheets and we're looking at Microsoft Excel. And in a previous video, we looked at the XLOOKUP function, which is available in Office 365. And we're going to do a couple of examples of a nested XLOOKUP. So how does that work? So let's have a look at a nested XLOOKUP and see how powerful this function can actually be. So in this example, we've got a table, which is like a grid where we've got departments and we've got different locations. And on the, depending on the department and the location, depends on which day they're going to be audited. Let's say this is an auditing, like they're going to be audited on a Monday or a Tuesday. So we've got this table. So we, if normally if you had this on a piece of paper and you want to find out when department B in Cape Town was going to be inspected, audited you would go along b move across to the cape town option go hey there it's going to be on a tuesday so can we use functions in excel to read from a table like this and you can using nested x lookups to do that so before i do a nested x, x lookup i want to show you an option for a x lookup where i'm going to just write it over here so x lookup i always keep on missing the k there x lookup Okay, so we are going to look up. So I want to look up the value. Let's say I want to look up the value um, JHB. So I'm going to look up that value. I'm just going to type it in manually. So I'm looking up for that value. And I'm going to first look for it in there. So that's I'm looking for it in where the headings are. Now, normally you would say, oh, I'll look for it there. And then you could look for it in so your return array. Where are you looking for that JHB, the corresponding value? Let's say we were looking for, for department C, you would select the C row. And so instead of using a H lookup, you could use something like this. So look up JHB in there. If you find a match, move to the corresponding value over here and find just the one value. So there we can see Friday is Joburg from department C. That's easy. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change this up a bit. I'm going to look up that JHB inside that that row there and instead of returning one department I'm going to select all of the departments I'm going to select all of them boom this whole range okay let's see what results I get here okay so it tells me hey formula spilled over which means it's got more than one result it gives me four options I say okay that's fine I'm happy with that it says Tuesday Monday Friday so it actually so I found Joburg and it actually returned this whole column of results Tuesday Monday Friday so it gave me a whole range of results by having this big table now that's important because that's going to be used in our X lookup so if we look up a value in a big table it returns a whole range of options okay so that's very nice so what we're going to do now I'm going to delete that Let's try an X lookup here. So we're going to use X lookup. I keep on forgetting the K. X lookup. What are we looking for? Well, we've got two values. We've got department and we've got location. So let's look up department value, that G5. Where are we looking for it? We are looking for it in here, this department. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. We're looking for it in a6 to A9. So it's going to look for that B value somewhere over here. It's going to find that B value. Now, if I was looking, so that's what I'm looking for. Now, I want to get it in Cape Town. Now, how do I specify just this one? Because it could change. Maybe I type in Joburg, so I must look over here. So here's the return array part. So how do I use the return array? So I want to find a particular range. of. Oh, but didn't we just do something that found just a particular range based on the whole table? So in the return array, I'm going to insert another X lookup. And I want to return the appropriate row or column, basically, that, that matches the location, which was in H5. We can't see it there, but it's in H5. So in the second X lookup, I'm going to go and get, I want H5's value, which would have been, you can't see it, but it's behind you. It's the location. In this case, it was Cape Town. Look up for Cape Town. Where are we looking? We're looking for Cape Town in these headings. And if we find it, then we're going to return the corresponding row or column of results. So look just at this X look up here. We're going to look for CPT. So looking for Cape Town in this column. So it's going to find Cape Town and it's going to return out of this table. It's going to return those set of results it's going to send wednesday 
Tuesday, Monday, Friday. It's going to set those four results as the results for this part. Then this X lookup will trigger and it will look for the G5, which I think is department B. It will look over here for B and it will look for just the, in that range, it will go to just that Tuesday option. Okay, so let's see if that works. So B in Cape Town is a Tuesday. And if I change that to JHB, it would say B in Joburg would be a Monday. So reflect on it again. It first triggers that X lookup. And what does that X lookup do? I'm going to copy it so you can see. Equals X lookup. So as you can see, that's going to be the result of that X lookup that's inside there. So when I say JHB, it goes and gets those four values and it puts it into there. So when we're looking up for that G5, which is our B value, look for the B value in there. And when you find the corresponding value, for, so it's either one, two, three, or four, it's the second option. So you go to the second option in this result and get the Monday. And if I change this to a PEB option, we'll see that second lookup that nested the inside lookup here's the results of it PEB gives you those four results and when we look for it we're looking for a B department inside here which is the second option get the second option from there which is a Wednesday and if I change that to a C we get the third option of that so that's how you can use a nested X lookup in a big table like that to get the exact value from two particular coordinates basically so you want this value and this value find the intersection of them where they meet up on the table so there we go x lookup nested ones see how powerful it is these are like the x-men of the lookup family that's why they're so powerful for more videos on excel as well as the videos on in the basics of x lookup as and other excel videos go to our youtube channel subscribe click on that subscribe button and leave a comment we'd love to hear from you follow us on facebook follow us on twitter and remember don't do it the long way do it the mister long way.